All right, I've got another box. Now, in this box is hopefully enough stuff to build a battery. So I've decided to work from home today. So I've got a battery. Just pop that there. And that comes with lots of stuff. Um, I've got loads of other stuff in here, some bits and bobs, some paper, uh, tools, everything I think I'm going to need. Heat shrink, more heat shrink, uh, soldering iron holder, uh, massive battery. Put me spot welder. Man, that's big. It's a beast. And of course, spot welder. So we need that. Uh, I've got some nickel. And I've got my charger. And the whole reason of this is because of these. These little Litigala 18650 batteries. There's going to be quite a lot of these going into that. So that should be fun. Um, I'm going to get starting and then I'll give you a little update when I'm uh, well, getting it ready to build, I suppose. Right, I've got my battery charging because I like that to be nice and fully charged. It'll get there. I'm not going to use it whilst charging though. If I start using it, then I've got to turn the charger off and disconnect it because otherwise it blows stuff up. Right, let's get to this battery. Here we have a 92 cell e-bike casing. 92 cells. So that should be fun. We're gonna put that all together. And we've also got one of these things. Now it says it's a 13S, 30 amp, 50 amp max, 3.7 volt. So it's good for lithium ion. So we're going to get that connected as well when we've built the battery. Uh, now, 92 cells doesn't quite go into 13 very well, but if we do 7P by 13S, I think that'll take us up to 91 cells. So let's get the batteries out. These little packs, packs of two. There's one bit of rubbish, and then grow open them as well. So here's the last one. Get that opened, and then start assembling the batteries into that in some kind of order. Before I get carried away, I want I want the main positive to end here. Do I? Here. Positive. So I want the main positive to end this side and then I want the main negative to be up here somewhere because the BMS is going to sit on top of that. So main negative straight to BMS and then wiring from BMS down to this main negative there. That's how I want it. So let's get going. Right, I think it's a good time to talk about these cells. So, Litacala LII 35As, uh, 3500 milliamp hours, uh, lithium ion, um, and they're good apparently for a 10 amp discharge, which is quite good. So, in this pack, they'll be good for, because I've got seven in, uh, in each pack, they should be good for 70 amps. 
in theory anyway. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to finish building it now. It's quite a nice fit as well. Nice, so nice and snugly just slot right in. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. And the last one. Sound. So I'm left with a positive. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down on the bottom corner. Cool. Chop some little pieces of nickel now. Um, most of these are going to be quite easy. So I'm just going to need a piece of nickel to sit across there. Nickel, 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 nickel. Let's get it in the video. Nickel, 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 nickel. All the way down there. All the way down there. On the other side. And then so on and so forth. So. I'm going to start doing that now. So I've checked all the voltages. I should have done that before I even started, but I've checked all the voltages. They're all 3.875, something like that. Um, all of them in that region anyway. So now I need to fit this on the top here. Um, yeah. I'll do that, and then I'll come back. I always like to, if I can, do the series links first and then do the parallel link after. Much better. So I could have made them half the size again, but it's all good. Getting there slowly. Slowly but surely. I pre wired the wiring. I've not soldered these on yet though, but they're going to go there like that. I've pre soldered them to the couple of bits of nickel that I'll be um, spot welding to the battery. So they're ready to spot weld to the battery. Um, I've got the gauge as well for the um, how much battery charge you've got in your battery. I've just got to solder them to that and then this one to this negative there. Um, I've also got the BMS soldered. I'm ready. Um, I've got 14 AWG silicon wire on that, so one strand of that's good for 45 amps. So if this battery is capable of doing 70, then the cable is capable of, well, 90. So it's plenty, 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 plenty. Um, and I'm going to get this welded to that next, I think. No, the next job is sorting these negative prongs out on that side. So I'm going to go from negative to the battery negative on the BMS. I'm going to do that now. Connected the battery meter. So that's uh, permanently connected to the main negative and the main positive. Um, I've done that on purpose because... Um, if it was connected to the BMS and the BMS fails, then you'll get nothing on that. But if there's no voltage output, but you know there's battery power, then you know the BMS has failed. So it's a bit of a, I've done it on purpose. Anyway, there we go. Well, that's this side wiring done. And also this side wiring done. It's quite cool how the uh, red and yellow wires get all one-sided. There you go. A little bit of protection for the wires. Very nice. I think I just broke my crappy little drill. <coughs> it's not happy. Oof. Yeah, that's stinky. Fine, 
finally finished. I just got to put the case on. Gonna connect the charger to that. So I'm just checking the polarity of the charger that they sent because sometimes that's the wrong polarity. But this looks like it's right. The red wire is positive and the black one is negative. If it was the wrong way around, I'd have a little minus next to that 55 there. But it's the correct way around. And then also check that your wire is correct on that. So again, the red wire is the positive wire uh, and the blue one is the negative. So I'm gonna uh, connect these up now and then see if it charges. All right, so that plugged in and charging. The light goes green when it's not charging. The red when it is charging. Sound. Right, final job to do on this is I need to remove this and they're the main positive and negative that's going to be coming off the bottom of the battery. I'll take this out. We've got that positive, negative, and then you can connect the battery to your bike, and then that's the main. So I'm gonna have um, just like I've done on the inside as well. I'm gonna have two negatives and then two positives and two negatives coming off that. Um, going to an XT60, I think. I think that should do it. Um, so yeah, little little cable coming out of there with an XT60 on it. I think that should do it just nicely. Um, and then I'll test it. But that's pretty much the end of this video. One finished battery, all done and dusted. There you go.